Let us start today from some new facilities which are uh, present in the uh, graphical user interface to uh, Möbius Invariant uh, library. And um, we will revise uh, that facility on the particular example from excellent book Geometry Revisit, revised by Coxeter and Greitzer. And the um, example which we will consider is related to Simpson line. So uh, the theorem says what if we have arbitrary triangle and another point on the uh, circumcircle to its central triangle, then uh, feet of uh, the uh, uh, perpendiculars dropped to three sides of this uh, triangle will be collinear. So that is the statement of theorem and let us see uh, how we can explore that result and illustrate it using a graphical user interface. So we are coming to start that program. Uh, we will consider several feats of perpendiculars and to this end it will be helpful to have a routine uh, which will do it in one go for us. At the moment uh, there are just uh, sub-figures which build midpoints uh, for the particular interval and we uh, may add uh, missing routines ourselves. So uh, to this end we simply start to make and uh, figure as usual so um, but only difference what this time we will choose uh, manual uh, la label generations for us so uh, fit of altitude to the straight line will have two parameters one parameter is that straight line another the point uh, from which we drop perpendicular so let us just introduce uh, that um, uh, to arbitrary lines. So line may be actually with arbitrary coefficients. Let us say we have one, one, other we remain equal to zero, so we don't need to fill them. So that will be a new uh, straight line. Then uh, we are asked for a name. In order our figure to be used as the subfigure in our construction, it shall have parameters. Parameters shall be named in particular way. So uh, they are variables where we are using numbers uh, padded with up to three zeros. So first parameter start from uh, variable zero 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 and actually such a variable shall be presented an arbitrary subfigure. So we created a line with such a name. When we add simply a point, arbitrary one, uh, that will be our second parameter. So it's called variable 0, 0, 001. And now uh, from this point we drop perpendicular to our line. So perpendicular shall be familiar to us. Uh, it's straight line which pass point. So it shall be orthogonal to the point. It is also the perpendicular to this line, so it's orthogonal to this line. And it shall be straight line, so it's orthogonal to the infinity. So this is the list of relations we have chosen for construction, so three orthogonalities, and we press create cycle button. Uh, that is not a variable anymore. That is a, a cycle which completely determined by all others. So we may simply give any name which we want to it. Say L for simplicity. <coughs> and now we want to construct the fit of altitude. Fit of altitude is intersection point of these uh, two lines. As intersection point it shall be orthogonal to both of them. It shall be orthogonal to itself in order to be a point. 
and we again two lines intersect in as any two cycles in two points and for straight line other point of intersection is always infinity we want to exclude this point we, uh, to exclude this point we say what it shall be almost different from infinity so that is again the list of relation which we have chosen for our uh, intersection point and we create this cycle so that cycle will be actually the output of our subfigure and as output it shall have some special recognizable name so we call it uh, result it shall be called as result okay so that point is constructed and we want to add that construction as a generic one to our library of subfigures. Uh, so there is a menu for subfigures, and there is here a point add figure to the library. So current figure will be added to the library. We may press that button. Okay, a message appears. It tells us what actually a meaningful subfigure shall have a description in order what anyone may use it in the library read and understand what it's about and so uh, that is an advice which says how to write such a uh, description so let us uh, make a description here so we write what this is uh, food of human feet of the perpendicular from point line. A first line shall end with a period when it will be used as a title of our construction. Then the rest of figure description tell us what is a uh, variable need to be introduced uh, to our case. So uh, we are saying <coughs> what uh, the first parameter is the line and the second parameter is the point which define the perpendicular Okay, so this is our description. Let's press OK. As we see, that uh, subfigure appear in the list of subfigures, and our description is here. <coughs> and we are ready to start our construction. So we are starting new figure. Okay, it's told what this figure is not said. We may try to save it, okay. Let us save that figure. So it will be just fit perpendicular. And when new figure shall start without a problem. Uh, let's make the real line a bit less visible by setting its style to dotted one because a real line will not play a central role in our construction. So now <clears throat> we come back to the automatic naming of the labels. We will reset the counter just to start from the beginning and it will be in capital roman letters so we will apply these changes and we define three points which will give our triangle so a b c well a bit to equilateral triangle so i slightly move the point okay <clears throat> now we need 
the uh, corresponding three sides of this triangle. Actually, it, we uh, may for this choose the automatic naming and this time lines will be named by small Roman letters. So that will be corresponding letters. We start from the beginning counting. And let our default style for this letter will be, for these lines will be a blue color. So we will apply it to every line. So line uh, corresponding to vertex A come from B and C, so it's orthogonal to these two points. Being straight line, it's orthogonal to infinity as well. And we create with line. So line A is created. Now we create line B. and line C. Uh, it's rainy day today. Nothing make more happy in such weather than just old good geometry. Okay, we have our triangle here. We also need the circle which will be circumcircle for this triangle uh, naming. So probably we will just manually choose what it will be. And maybe we want to make it uh, say green color. So it will be just orthogonal to these three points. For a circle, let its name C is used. Uh, so what it can be? Let it will be just D. Okay, so this is our circle. Now we need an arbitrary point on this circle. Well, as a point on the circle, it shall be orthogonal to it. it as a point, it shall be orthogonal to itself. And this give us just two condition. Uh, two condition is typically not sufficient to define a circle uh, or a cycle completely. It will be some free variables. We actually can try to make a, a circle from this condition. So let it will be uh, at point. So it will be point from this condition. So let it will be our point P capital. So. We will see what we will obtain. When it uh, tells us what this particular circle cannot be uh, drawn because it's contained parameters, so it's contained some uh, impossible things to draw uh, for the program. And as we can see, uh, really for this circle, uh, there are some symbols appeared, as you can see here, there are symbols with index 3157, which is a free parameter in this calculation. So it's not uh, probably good for our attempt, so let's just delete that circle from consideration. And let it make different, so we still have condition what it is orthogonal to the circle, it's orthogonal itself and let us introduce some additional <coughs> uh, property uh, let's it will be elsa has a relation to infinity what it has a ratio between two cycle products to infinity and r to be equal one half one half can be entered as a fraction in this way
so maybe even one half to make it in the upper half plane with time. So uh, actually it's uh, that condition specify what y coordinate, uh, vertical coordinate of this point need to be equal to 2. So that is condition which we have added here. So let's see if we can create and let it will be our new attempt for a point P. As you can see we have created and as usual in this type of condition we get two copies of it. <coughs> uh, actually uh, to make things simpler we want just to have one particular uh, point. By the way it also appeared in green style, maybe it's not very good for us. So let's make it a point black again. And we uh, want to have just one instance of point B. So we pick up a point which has number uh, index number 0. Other point have index number 1 from out of these two points. So we put that only one condition. And we create cycle <coughs> of this uh, property. So uh, let it will be point Q. Of course, because P and Q are the same, uh, one instance of P and Q are the same, we have overlap here. So maybe to avoid it, we just set style of point, original point P itself to be invisible. So as you see, point P disappeared from our consideration. Uh, so it's now is in this style here and instead we have just one instant of point Q. So um, here again we may move our point ABC as we want. So point Q is calculated accordingly. Now it's time to use our uh, subfigure feet of the perpendicular and drop these perpendiculars back to our uh, sides of the triangle. So we can do it uh, using our subfigure. Uh, so uh, I am happy with uh, uh, black color for these uh, new points and I want a label to be corresponding one. So let it will be points. Uh, so we have variable which will be Roman small letter. We will recent counter start from the beginning and it will be just images of point Q. So we choose format of the label string as Q sub uh, that counting parameter. Now the advantage of uh, <coughs> uh, that um, method of using subfigure, what we actually can create uh, a lot of subfigure at once. But let's uh, first see uh, how it work. So uh, we just do it for one uh, line at the beginning. So we click uh, by the right mouse on corresponding subfigure and use it for us. So here is an advice. It's actually here define how I uh, describe how to make uh, multiple uh, instances of that subfigure for different data. But let us start just from simple case. So we want to have, <coughs> here is a description, useful description of our uh, subfigure, which we did ourselves. So we may uh, just reread to refresh our memory what it is. <coughs> so we are dropping perpendicular from point Q to line A. So A come first, uh, A small to make different from A capital, which is a point, and point Q. Uh, so we are constructing that perpendicular. Ah, okay. I let it will be <coughs> done by uh, hand. So it's Q sub A because I did not switch to uh, automatic label construction yet. <clears throat> so I do it manually. So we see for point A what uh, 
feet of perpendicular appeared on the figures. So again, as I said, uh, the fun is what we actually was able to create all that free uh, point in one go. So we will now uh, create just remaining two points in one go. So we will use sub figure and this time we will say uh, the list of lines where we need to drop the perpendicular. So it will be B and C and uh, enclosed in wet curly brackets it will make uh, what all of them need to be used one by one. And we put the point Q as the point where we <clears throat> drop the perpendicular from. So we press OK. So that three points appears. So we have Mm, labels not exactly as I wanted. Um, let me do, redo things again. So I will just delete this point, delete this point, and delete this point, and just construct all of them once more. So for my label, I use automatic Roman small letters and I reset a counter. Now I use this figure. So for lines A, B and C from point Q. So again the same three letters appears. Now the <coughs> Simpson theorem claim what these three lines shall be uh, collinear. So let us see if this is true. So um, to this end we will draw a straight line to through the point uh, QA, so orthogonal. Uh, okay, um, probably this line because it's important. I wanted to make say in this color which I don't know name of. So uh, relation will be what it's orthogonal to QA and it's orthogonal to QB and it's orthogonal to infinity to become straight line. <coughs> Again, this is the condition which we have at the moment and we create the cycle. Okay, that purple line appeared and it's indeed a look like uh, QC indeed belong to this purple line and we actually can test that property. We check relation orthogonality with respect to the line uh, line uh, sorry it has a name QD in our case I forget to switch from automatic naming. And again, uh, that condition claimed to be almost true. And we tick that box in order to um, watch that relation continuously when we will be moving our points to different location. As you can see, we have different triangle and still uh, that point QC is orthogonal to the line QD. So again, we may play with different positions of our points. All times that is preserved. Okay, now we do our uh, certain experiments. Let's uh, check uh, what happens if we use hyperbolic metric. So that means orthogonality is different uh, type. And we see what figure became rather strange. We don't have points anymore because orthogonality uh, is calculated in a different relation. So self orthogonality which was chosen correspond uh, to hyperbolic case. So we switch to hyperbola to see what happened. <clears throat> and what happened in this case? 
we have three point ABC we have green cycle hyperbola passing that and um, for some reason there is no with line it does not appear it's uh, perpendicular does not happen aha what uh, for some position of points we see that perp line is here and three points still belong to them <coughs> to all that perp line and we have uh, that confirmed by our system what we still have a uh, collinearity of these feeds of altitudes even if orthogonality is calculated in term of hyperbolic metric in Kelly Klein geometries so actually I think that may be a new result uh, probably nobody look on the Simpson line in this setting yet and we did it just now for the first time I think it's a good inspiring example which encourage further research in this direction.